Hi everybody, this video is going to talk through some important changes to the Borders College Moodle site that we've made as part of our Easter upgrade. There's a couple of key things that have changed that we think will make life easier for lecturers, so we just want to go through those things. We're also going to mention a little bit about some changes that affect students as well. So first of all, uh, we know it's a big problem that often where people are working on large Moodle pages, they'd scroll down to a topic at the bottom of the page and then they couldn't get to the course management options. Previously the course management options were up on the top of a page in the right hand corner. We had a section here that when clicked dropped down to let you get into your course settings, items like that. Obviously if you were at the bottom of the page you couldn't get to those. Now however if you're working at the bottom of a page you can click on this gear icon to bring up the course management options from anywhere in the page. This lets you get to your participants area where you can look at who's enrolled on the course, enrollment methods, and all the other options that you previously used, but obviously now you can access from anywhere in the page. The close button in the corner will close that off. The other problem with working on longer pages was that again, right at the top of the page is where you had to go to find the turn editing on button, which you needed to use if you wanted to add any activities, assignments, files, and resources to Moodle. Now, wherever you are in the page, at the top we've got this pen and paper icon which you can click to turn editing on. Clicking on this turns on editing options and as we can see now I've got my add an activity or resource options have appeared. So I can click one of those and I've got all my activities here. I can also drag and drop files onto this page to add them. Once you're ready to turn editing off, you go back up again to the power button here and editing off and that's your page back to normal. So we think these two changes will make life a lot easier for people working on longer Moodle areas. Uh, if you've got any feedback on that though please let us know. The other change I want to talk a little bit about is for students. We mentioned this year that we've got some Moodle course requirements that we've sent out to lecturers and we're really pleased to see a lot of courses conforming to those now. These included things like having information like a description for your course and an area with information about your staff team who was delivering the course, who to contact. Students, when they're on their course page, can now click the gear icon to bring up a list and that will show everybody who's enrolled on the course as the course teachers. So this is filled in automatically for you, you don't have to do anything extra. If you're on that course as a lecturer, you'll show up in this area. Students can click on the email address to open up a page in Outlook to email you or they can right click and they can copy the shortcut to copy your email and paste it into something like uh, other email clients and browsers. You'll also notice there's a course description area here. You can set this up for your course from your lecturer perspective by opening up the course management area and going into edit course settings and then from edit course settings you can go down to description and course summary and anything you type up in there will go into that course summary area that students can see. So again just some extra features to hopefully make life a little easier for students there. If you've got any feedback at all we'd appreciate it at helpdesk at borderscollege.ac.uk. Hope that was useful and let us know what you think.